All the right. Canadian. The funny thing is, I don't even remember this one I'm about to play. I just put wall fail. Oh, shit. I remember. <laughs> He's out. He's fucking is not that? out. <laughs> That's shitty. Oh, Good thing I he didn't that again. start the flip. He could have fucking yeah, broken it, it, He... He's lucky. Yeah, you're right. He's lucky he didn't get any more turn to that flip or he is done. Yep. I mean, that could fucking kill you, really. Yeah, if you land on your fucking head, you could, or you'd be shitting in a bag, maybe. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. just. Wow. I got to see it again. He hit that thing with confidence, though. He did. If you look at the way he pushes off the wall, he thought he had that shit going into it. Yeah, I think you got to do like a wall run, run up the wall to get that right. Yeah, it looks like he may have never done that before in his life. And he no, just right there, not. drunk in the middle of the night, was like, watch this shit, guys. Hold my beer. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> that's usually how it fucking starts. Watch this. Yeah, and then that's how it ends. On your back, mm -hmm. unconscious. <laughs> he didn't run up the wall until that last push. <laughs> uh -huh. He just jumped up and then did one push up the wall. <laughs> That's fucking terrible, really. Yeah, we grew up with guys who would like Bill Becker who could do standing backflips and shit. You know what I mean? And then there's this guy. Fucking 90s shit. Yeah. I remember that Vormans. Remember Matt Vormans? Yep. He'd always just run in the gym and do a fucking flip on the run and keep running. Crazy. So this just reminded me of this, but do you remember when we were in gym and I think we weren't allowed to go outside or something for because it was shitty. So they had everybody mm -hmm. in the gym and they yelled, bring it in or whatever the fuck. And I took that basketball and I launched it across the fucking to the like where the basketball goes. But anybody who's our school literally had three basketball courts sideways and then yeah. an area. And so I launched that thing and Mr. Farmer walked right in front of it and it hit him right in the fucking head. Yep. Oh. I did that to Mrs. Redmond. Oh, see. Same situation. I was throwing the ball at the end of gym and it fucking smoked her right in the head. Now, I didn't hate Farmer. I didn't like him, but Mrs. Redmond could get it. That was okay. But I remember <laughs> between you and Mr. Farmer. What's that? He smacked you on the ass in gym class, and you said, "Don't touch my ass, fag." Uh, that was at a at an assembly. <laughs> oh, okay. I had a nosebleed, and he wouldn't let me just sit on the bleachers because I was on the crutches still. And I got a nosebleed, and he insisted that I go to the fucking bathroom. And I was pissed because he didn't. He wouldn't let me just sit and stop my nosebleed. He wanted me to go to the bathroom. So he, he's pretending he's going to help me down. It wasn't like an ass grab, but it was on my lower back. It's like, how the fuck are you going to help me down the steps by touching my lower back? I just remember you turning around and screaming at him. Don't touch my ass. <laughs> yeah. My mom got involved in that shit. I just you remember you, you you screaming through the gym, though. Like, everybody knew he just had his hand by your ass. Yes. I still feel justified. He's going, I feel victimized. That's what he said? That's what he said in the office he, to my no, mom. He had a I feel victimized. He had a habit, and I know he would use it because he was a baseball coach and whatever else. But he had a habit in gym class of slapping you on the ass, and I wasn't good with that either. But you were just the one who said something. Because mm -hmm. yeah, you're like playing that. floor hockey and he'd smack you on the ass, and it's like, what the fuck, right? Bro, my hockey coach and my football coach don't even do that, and my gym teacher's gonna. Yeah, neither do my teammates. Nobody. No one smacks asses around here, bud. <laughs> Just not a thing in this school. He's trying to start a movement. Well, really, dude, it's not. It was so out of fucking the ordinary. It just did not happen around there. 
No, but that wasn't like there was some crazy shit that we like happened with teachers because I remember I'm in a fist fight in front of the fucking principal's office, those glass windows. And Mr. Yeah. Zimmerman, who's the track coach in his track suit, comes to grab me. But I thought it was one of fucking Dittmer's friends, right? Oh. So I fucking tossed him and down the fucking, you know, remember how small he was? And all uh-huh. I heard was his tracksuit goes down the fucking floor. <laughs> the fucking, and he wanted me expelled. And my argument was like, bro, I didn't know who the fuck you were. If I knew you were a teacher, it would have been mm-hmm. different. I'm in a fight with dude. We're wrestling around on the ground. And I think it's one of his friends. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. No, I got three days suspension, but I didn't get expelled. Were you fighting Dipper? Yeah. That was like me and Dipper fought like five times. For real? Well, when we were really little, I would say about 10 was our first fight when I lived out by Best Western and um, his cousins is Jason, Tim, no, Olsen. Yeah. So then we got into a fight. Then I got in that, I got into a fight with him at a party and then I got a fight with him and Marino on the tracks. Yeah. And that was both of them? Well, yeah, because I put, I had Marino on his back and I was hitting him and Dittmer full Nelson me and was like, no wrestling, right? Like, oh. So, and then, uh, okay, so three or four times, and then that fight in front of the um, office. But that wasn't really a fight. Like, it, there wasn't many punches thrown. It was more like, but see, we got along. So, but we always, you know, the friends you get along with, but you haven't, like, you never can agree and shit happens. Yeah. Yeah, because there was this weird thing is his dad and my dad, before his dad was murdered, were best friends. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, there was a history from when we were young. You know what I mean? So, it wasn't like an all-out brawl brawl. But as we got older, we went to the same parties but didn't hang out in the same circles. Mm -hmm. But you knew him well enough to talk shit and stuff like that? Well, yeah. And that actually, that happened because they got mad at Dan because Dan said something to his sister, Brianne. And him and Marino Mm -hmm. were going to jump him. And I told Dittmer to fuck himself. And that's where that went. Yeah. That's yeah, actually had how it out carried out to the game. track like a week later. Mm-hmm. I had just came back from suspension, and then that weekend or whatever, we're out on the tracks fighting. Yeah, they came after me one time, and Matt Reed showed up and fucking cold cocked his ass hard at the fair. Do you remember that one? And then Thayer got jumped by the Carnies. Oh, I remember Thayer getting jumped by the Carnies. Yeah, that was Dittmer and Matt Reed were fighting because Dittmer was coming after me and Dan and everybody. That all had to Never. do with some shit Dan said to Brianne Olsen. Mm-hmm. And I still to this day do not know what he said to her. I think it was just a lot of stuff from when they were in the same classrooms. Dan and Barr and them, I guess they, like Olsen fucking roughed Dan up. And he, he they wouldn't stop picking on Brianne. Yeah, um... Marino's one of those weird people who we were we were okay. We knew each other. We went to the same parties. We get into that fight and we were way cooler after that and actually we're friends. Yeah. That was one of those weird right. things where you fight your friend and then you're you fight somebody and then you become friends. Yeah. 